gang violence is something that exists, it happens. And the problem is, our youth, our brothers are out there. They need hope. Who is helping them? Are you helping them? As an organization, we want to give nasiha to our youth. We want to give them advice. Go forward, young Muslims, wherever you are. In the shadow. 17. And you're in E17. And the Muslim brothers of E17, the gangsters, see you in their turf. There's an issue. Before, years ago, if a Muslim saw a Muslim in, an, in their own area, it was a time of joy and delight. It was like, Salamu alaikum, brother, you know, what area have you come from? Where do you live? You have an X5 or a Q7, and you're the biggest gangster there is. You know, tint your windows, pump a bit of bass, and that's it. And every time you go past somebody, what do you do? You put the window down, and you look at them, and you, you're sitting crouched in the back of your seat, like as if you're something special. Now honestly, it's reality. Now have a look at our streets. When you're driving up and down them, if you're not one of them yourself, who's doing it? It's everybody's second cousin and first cousin and brother and uncle and this friend and that friend. And most of the time, if it's not yourself, you're either sitting in that car with them. Because we start to respect these people. We start to respect these people and look at them as if there's something in society. And we start to idolize these people. So somebody has a fight in the street and everybody's on their toes. Oh, do you heard? This guy knocked him out. He was sick fight. And then we go home and talk about, oh, he's hard man, mashallah, you know, he pumps this much amount of iron, so he's like this, he's like that. Oh, and what a punch it was, you know, it was a hook, and it was just one only, and he knocked him out, so what now, he's a don, right? So he's now a don. So what do we do? Whenever a fight, oh, we better call him. And if you've got his, if you've got his number in your mobile phone, then you're a gangster too. Because he's one phone call away. So somebody comes, or you walk into a shop and you think, yeah, yeah, you think you're bad. All right, safe. Let me put my phone out. Yeah. And you call him up. And this is the lifestyle we live.